let's design spotify today spotify is a music application where you can listen to songs so the typical functional requirement should be the user should be able to listen to songs and a singer or a creator should be able to upload songs right some of the non functional requirement of this application includes that it should be uh, fast to search should play songs without buffering and the application which we'll make should be easily scalable so let's assume the number of users on our application initially would be 1 million number of songs 10 million song size of each song should be 5 mb so the total space requirement for songs should be size of one song multiplied by the total number of songs which comes out to be 50 tb song metadata being the information related to each song so that should be small 100 bytes multiplied by the total number of songs that is 10 in million so that comes out to be 1 gb and uh, information related to any user right a uh, user metadata so size let's consider it to be 1 kb and that comes out to be 1 gb so these are some of the numbers uh, initially that we'll be designing the application for now let's look at how we are going to store the data so uh, we'll try to uh, you know see how the structure of data will look like so we'll have a table or uh, you know an entity named as song which will have a song id a song name and a song url wherein we'll have the original mp3 file stored right another entity uh, here can be an artist artist id being the primary key an artist name you can of course have other information related to artist apart from this we'll have a user right a user id which can act as a primary key his name email uh, password uh, which we can store in a hash form and the date on which he created his account another uh, table can be derived from this artist and song which will have a relation uh, with these two tables uh, and have artist id song id a primary key uh, combined with artist id and song id uh, deriving from each table so these are some of the relations that can be applied on this data and uh, we can see that these are structured data with relationships so an sql database might suit uh, for us to store this information and for the of course for the mp3 file right which will originally have the song we can have a blob kind of storage so we can have 2 dbs to store this information let's look at how we'll design it so clients are accessing our application through a load balancer and through the load balancer they'll be able to access the web servers from the web servers we can store data in a you know in a blob kind of storage uh, we can have an s3 or a s0 or gcp to store the songs right in a binary large object kind of storage and for the metadata the data which we discussed previously we can store that in an sql db here comes the question what if a new songs uh, comes which is you know very massively searched by users so if this use case comes then we can introduce a small cache which you know can have a least recently used eviction uh, policy so that the ones that are massively searched or are the mostly used should be in the cache so that the web servers do not need to search for that songs in this uh, large object storage or even in the sql database this information they can uh, fetch from the cache of course for this cache you can use anything uh, such as redis aerospike or any other cache